Hey guys, it's Pizza here, and I know I haven't recorded in a while, but um, I'm just going to tell you up right now, I really wasn't in recording anymore. I didn't think I was doing that good of a job, so what I'm doing is I'm switching to um, making pictures and stuff, and I hope you guys enjoy this new thing I'm starting to do, um, but in today's video... I'm going to be using the software for your computer, Paint.net, um, to make this. This um, galaxy, you can use it for your backgrounds, you can use it for anything really. And I'm just going to show you that. But first what you want to do is you're going to want to download Paint.net if you don't already have it. Link will be in the description. Um, and what you want to do is you just want to open it up. but. Um, I don't think you should really, um, like once you download it, I don't think you should do this video right away because you got, you, I think you got to get kind of familiar with what everything does first. So what you want to do is you just want to mess around with everything and see what everything does before you actually get into making it. But once you do that, what you want to do is you want to open up a new white background that will come out just like this. And what you want to do is you want to go here and hit more and you want to pick out a color that you'd like. And so what you want to do is you want to click, uh, maybe you want blue one like the one right there. But I'm going to do pink because just be, be, just because I just made a blue one. So I'm going to pick that and I'm going to take this right here, um, the V option, I'm going to make that 10. And then I'm going to hit less. I'm going to select all of this with the magic wand tool. Shortcut is S. And then you select this and hit the backspace key. And then that gives you kind of a pinkish, purplish background. But that's only going to be temporary. So um, what you want to do is this is recommended, but it's not needed. You want to go into properties and you want to name it. I'm just going to name it space because this is going to be our base layer, but you don't really have to do this. But then what you want to do is you want to add another layer. And I'm just going to name this one small stars. And then after this, I'm going to make another layer and I'm going to name this layer. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. I got to name this layer Large Stars. And then click OK. Then what you want to do is you want to go back to the small stars. You want to click on that. Then you want to click this right here that says New. And that will open up a new file. Um, I'm using 800 by 600 pixels. Um, but it should this should be your default because it's my default. But... Um, whatever it is, you should use your default for both of them so it's the same exact size. So then what you want to do is you want to click OK to make the new image. Then you want to click this up here, the Effects tab. You want to go down and click Noise. Then you want to click Add Noise. And then what you want to do here is you want to take the color saturation to the lowest possible and then you want to take the coverage and hit 3, but don't hit the enter key. You just want to hit 3 like that, then click OK, because the enter key does the, means it's going to do the thing. It's, it's going to actually do the process for you whenever you hit the enter keys. But if you just click away, it just ends it right there, so you don't have to click the enter key, or else it might do something you might not want it to do. So then what you want to do is you want to click a white part here with the magic wand tool and then you want to have the tolerance at about 40 percent then you want to um, hit the delete key on your computer then what you want to do is you want to hit control A and select all of it and then hit control C to copy it then go over here and paste it on for your small stars Now. This looks good and all, but we need bigger stars, and we need it to look a lot better, more like this. So then what you want to do is you want to go over to this, click large stars, and you want to paste it on again. Then you want to go up to layers, click layers, then click rotate slash zoom. 
Then what you want to do is you want to take the zoom up to 2. It's um, default at 1, but you can um, highlight that and highlight all of that and then just press the 2 key and then hit enter and then it should make the stars bigger for you. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to get this awesome nebula like we have in this one. So what you want to do is you want to click the add new layer and then you're going to name this one multiply oh, multiply clouds. I'm naming it clouds for the sake of it. And then you want to click OK. And then you want to add a new layer and then you want to click properties and name it color dodge clouds and then you want to hit OK so then click multiply clouds then you want to add another one the same dimensions as this one then you want to click OK then you want to go up here to the effects tab again you want to go down to where it says render click render then click clouds and then it should pop up with a little cloud thing like this just click OK then hit Control A on this, it'll select it all. Then hit Control C on this, and it'll copy it onto your clipboard. Then paste it on here for the multiply clouds. And you think, and you're probably thinking, I just ruined the whole thing. I just put a huge blob of clouds on there for no reason. No, that's not what I'm doing. Want to go back to properties here? Then you want to go right here where it says mode. You want to click normal and then you want to click multiply then you want to click OK as you can see it's already starting to like take shape and stuff and it's already starting to look cool but we want it to be bright like this blue is here so what you want to do is you want to go up to the color dodge clouds layer and then you want to paste it in again then you want to hit properties and then you want to click mode and then normal you don't have to click mode, sorry, you just click normal, then you go down to color dodge, click that, then click OK. And then there it is, it's the complete project, it looks pretty cool, I think so, um, and it's a really nice background, it's a really nice galaxy background, you can use it on whatever you want, and I really hope you enjoyed this video, um, but by the way, this is a quick tip, if you want to share this, most applications don't accept um, PDN files, paint.net files, which is what this would produce if you still add these layers here. So what you want to do is you want to hit these keys at the same time. Control, Shift, and F. And then it'll merge all these layers together into one. And then whenever you save it, it'll be a PNG file, which pretty much all applications use. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you really enjoyed. Um, comment down below um, how this would be useful to you and if you did make this, what it, what you used it for and if you think it looks cool. Um, and um, I guess that's the end of the video. Um, thank you for watching and see ya!